Okay, so welcome to my first ever keyboard review. So in this video, we will be opening the Fecker Alice uh, ergonomic gasket mounted keyboard. So this is commonly known as the Fecker Alice 80 or just the Fecker Alice. So this is a south facing universal hot swap and tri mode keyboard. Okay, so out of the box so this is the box so it has a white box and there's just an opening here wherein you can see the insides of the keyboard okay so upon opening the box you can see the keyboard itself and you have here a plastic cover okay so let's open the box more so removing the keyboard we can see so we have here a keycap puller and we also have here a switch puller okay and we have another box here which contains our cable okay so we have here a coiled cable so for the price this is uh, very good since uh, it also has a coiled cable already but as you can see the coiled cable is a bit small and not the typical coiled cable that that uh, we expect okay so let's get that box out of the way and let's look at the keyboard so here I have is the white version so this is the white version and as you can see it has orange keycaps and light blue accents okay so the text is also orange okay and this uses the Fecker Matcha V2 so Fecker Matcha V2 switches are tactile so it is around 50 grams if I am not mistaken and looking around the keyboard so the first thing that we will be noticing would be the curve on the keyboard okay so the Fecker Alice has a bit of a curve to it so it's it looks like this it looks like this unlike the Ako Alice which is just flat okay so I guess this would help with the angle on how you type and so it makes it more ergonomic okay so also in the top you will see that the Type-C slot, you have here the on-off switch for Bluetooth and 2.4 GHz and a Win and Mac switch, okay? So you can see there, Type-C, on-off, Win and Mac. So on the right side here, we have here the 2.4 GHz dongle and it is secured by a magnet but it's a bit weak. So as you can see there, it's a bit weak but overall it's still secure and it doesn't fall off if you yank the keyboard like that okay so this is a 65 percent mechanical keyboard so it has no f keys but it has arrow keys and delete page up and page down here okay so it also has a knob so this knob is quite smooth as you can see it does not have any textures okay so it's smooth and it works as an up it can do volume up volume down and mute or pause and play okay so let's try an initial sound test on the keyboard so this is all stock I did not mod the keyboard in any way so Okay, so that sounds a bit thin for my liking. So let's do a sound test. So I'm going to monkey type right now. And stop checking. So 
so the stabs are really good for stock so I don't hear any major rattles so the enter has a little bit on the right side right space left space none so there you go so I would also say that the RGB on this keyboard is very 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 bright so if I put it to full brightness as you can see that my camera is auto adjusting because it is very bright and so when I use this I usually just put it on to the first level okay so there is also other modes so you can change the mode on this so F and delete changes the mode so there you go you have the blinking one so I'll just cycle through this so so let's move to the keycaps so let's remove one so the keycaps are PBT die sub keycaps and I would say that the keycaps are uh, pretty good so the text or writings are very clear and as you can see there these are probably like clone PBT keycaps from a GMK set or something like that so they also have the notch on the J and the F key Okay, so they are relatively thick, but they are not as thick as common keycaps like XMI keycaps or double shot ABS clones. Okay, but overall, for the quality and for the price, uh, this is this is good. So here is my initial impression on this keyboard. So, in my opinion, for the price of around. 4,600 for the bare bones kit and around 6,000 pesos for the whole set with the matcha v2s it is a very budget oriented alice keyboard so it competes against the Ako alice so see you in another video wherein i try and mod this keyboard and see the before and after sound test